Hello and welcome to Smart Start Mornings. Today I have the Red Univer Compact Universal uh, Tablet Dock, which is right here. Um, today I'm going to be showing you around it, showing you the buttons on it. There's only like what five, and hopefully showing you the sound quality and how to connect it and yada yada and all that. So uh, yeah, I'm going to put this down on the table and then show you around it. Okay, so here we have the Red Compact Universal Tablet Dock, which is basically a Bluetooth speaker. Um, I've had it for quite a while. Obviously, you can see it's got a bit of dirt on the front now, but uh, otherwise, it's pretty in pretty good nick. Um, the back's falling off a little bit, um, but as I say, I've had this for about a year now, so uh, mm -hmm. it's expected for it to be a bit battered and torn the way I use it. Um, and I'm about to put a video on YouTube, so that's going to be annoying. There we go. Right. Um, so yeah, this is the tablet dock. Uh, it's only got like a couple buttons on the front. It's got that's upside down. Let me turn it around. So it's got its play, its pause, and its rewind and fast forward buttons. If it will focus anytime today, there we go. And sorry, my hands a bit shaky. And you've got the play and uh, not the play, the volume up and the volume down button on the side. You've got the on-off switch, you've got the auxiliary cable that goes in there, you've got the little mic, and you've got the uh, charging, DC 5 volt charging port, with a little red light that goes on when you're charging, and I believe it's a green light when it's finished charging, um, but I could be wrong on that, I'm sure it is. Also on the front you've got a little Bluetooth symbol, uh, that lights up, so if I turn it on, it should light up uh, when it's connected to my device. So I turned it on. I got to wait for it to connect. There we go. And now it's turning blue. And now it is connected. Now that it's flashing blue like that. Um, and if I was to plug an auxiliary cable in to the side, it will turn green. There we go. It's so now I play whatever I'm playing on my computer. Um, but it's really easy to connect. And I shall show you on the iPad how easy it is to connect to an iPad. Okay, so here I have the iPad sat in the dock. Um, it sits quite comfortably, even with this case on it. Uh, it's not the best case in the world. The case falls off all the time. Uh, but yeah, it just sits in there. You can have it whatever way you want, whether you want it landscape or portrait. Um, and yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, I shall show you how to connect it. You go back to obviously your settings on your iPad <laughs> and then you go up to Bluetooth and if I can get it to focus, there we go. So you've got your Bluetooth on. If you go down it'll be the ATC underline RED001. So all you do is click that and then it'll connect. Um, but uh, it'll probably ask you for a code which is as always zero 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 um, so you just put that in and then it's connected and then you can just start playing music straight off your iPad uh, wirelessly through Bluetooth on this okay so next I'm going to show you the sound quality um, it is a pretty good sound quality I'm going to plug this auxiliary keyboard into the side um, just so I can play the song that I want to play Okay, so here's the speaker. I'm going to play some music for it just so you can hear it playing. That is it now playing. It's not playing through the Bluetooth, it's playing through my computer. Um, and yeah, it's pretty good sound quality. Uh, hopefully, you can hear me. I will just stop it just while I talk. Um, yeah, it's pretty good sound quality. There's quite a good bit of bass on it. So, if you get a good song with bass on it, it will play the bass relatively well. Um, I've never had any problems with it. Uh, or with the sound quality, it's, usually, it's epic, really. I can't, I couldn't fault the sound quality. Um, and just a quick note on the, I got this at Sainsbury's for twenty pound, and on the Sainsbury's website, it's a five out of five star, or it's a four point seven out of five star rating on uh, Sainsbury's. And I would actually agree with this. It is good quality. It's made well. Uh, I've dropped it, God knows how many times. And it survived. It has got one tiny dent on it, but I can't even 
you can't really notice it on the camera. Um, but yeah, it's a good little machine, and now I will just play some music for it and let you listen. If I can focus it back up, there we go. And right, that is my little review for this. It is the Red Compact Universal Tablet Dock, which is basically a Bluetooth speaker that you can put your iPad straight into there. Um, and yeah, I'm going to say my goodbyes now. Okay, so thank you for watching today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope that you found it interesting. If you feel like buying it, then you can get it from Sainsbury's from around. 20 to 25 pound. Um, if there's any technology that you want me to test, uh, if you've got any ideas and it's something that I can go out and buy, then I'll try and go out and buy it and make a little video on it and review it. If you have any questions, uh, then feel free to just ask me the questions. If you want a video answer, then say that in the question and I'll answer the question in video form and I'll put it on the YouTube channel as well. And as, as always, Please remember to like, comment and subscribe and goodbye. Okay, so here I have my iPad on the dock. Um, it sits, whoops, going to do that again.